Welcome back to the channel, Racer X here, and today I want to put together a video for you guys using some of the footage I got at Bradenton Motorsports Park last night with my Demon 170. I actually went out there during a private testing session. Truth be told, I've been out doing a lot of private testing with the Demon, getting better and better with the trans brake, uh, learning a little bit more about what it likes to launch at that particular track, and last night was no different. However, things got a little bit goofy with the car. I'm going to show you guys everything that happened last night. And as you can see, I've got my rental right here, which is a Wagoneer, and there is no demon in my garage. And truth be told, there will probably be no demon in my garage for quite some time. Um, it is a problem. And one of the things I've always kind of wondered about my car, if something odd isn't going on with it, because even when I raced the Plaid, despite the fact I treed the Plaid, I spun a little bit, I was out in front of it, and that car went right around me. I passed him. No way, we're dead. He oh, I got him by a nose. And he out mile an hour me by like five miles an hour. The fastest my car has ever been is like 144 miles an hour, even when I ran like a like a 938. So it's a little bit weird when guys are out there doing 148 or 150. Uh, the Plaid is supposed to trap right about the same as the Demon, yet he went right around me like I was just nailed to the ground. And uh, my car just has never really been all that fast. And last night it just got worse and worse and the car got slower and slower and i'm going to show you guys everything that happened if you guys are brand new to the channel make sure you hit subscribe right over here in the corner off we go I am at Bradenton Motorsports Park. You can see the demon back here cooling off right behind me. This is a private track rental. A lot of people don't know I've been coming out during private track rentals trying to get some extra practice in the car because the prep is better. You don't have all the prep getting pulled up like on the uh, on the regular street nights where you've got a lot of street tires going down the track. Tonight, the prep should be really good. We're gonna work on the trans brake tonight. Just try and get better and better. Been doing a lot of this behind the scenes, but tonight I thought I would actually give you a little bit of footage of the progress of the car we're going to use the trans brake a whole bunch tonight and try and get that dialed in. And they're really doing a good job with the prep. You can actually see it right back here. There's almost nobody here, but that's what you get with private rentals. A lot of time to practice. We're going to go with kind of a neutral setup tonight with the Demon. What I mean by that is a standard 20 PSI on the rears. We're going to go 50 in the front. So we got those aired all the way up to 50 for less rolling resistance. The car is just about cooled down. As you can see, there's nobody running down the track right now. Got a lot of race teams and stuff out here tonight but everybody's kind of in chill mode this should be a really good night it's beautiful outside the da is pretty high it's hot here in florida so i'm not going to run some record time there will be no 890s tonight guys i'm sorry to tell you the air just isn't going to permit it but it should be fun for practice so we'll start out with a uh, kind of a medium trans break on this first hit and we'll see what happens guys this is the best sound in the world <laughs> when you're in a track and you hear it and you can't lift your feet up yep that's good stuff there all right guys time for the first pass hopefully the car sticks we're going to try and use the trans brake i'm going to use the second map map b it's kind of right in the middle we'll see if the track holds it the track feels really good and sticky no uh, street cars out here tonight that are running regular tires. Everything's either a drag radio or a slick, which is good news. So uh, we'll see. Take a look at what this thing is doing to this tire, guys. It is just wadding it up. As you saw, I did spin yet again. I'm actually gonna take the tire pressure up about a pound and a half, and I'm just folding the tire over, guys. I know a lot of people think that every time you spin, it's just go down, go down, go down. That's not always the case. So I'm actually gonna go up about a pound and a half on these and see uh, on a different uh, trans brake, probably a C trans brake, how it goes. So we are on trans uh, brake C, you can see, this is a nice, smooth, easy curve at 1,600 RPM. 
We'll see how the car does with this. So that was a much more successful pass out of the car, but very slow. Obviously, I did pull a lot of timing out. I moved it all the way down to trans brake C. That was like a 985 at, I don't know, 141 and some change. So not really fast for a car like this. But then again, it's really crappy outside in terms of DA. It's beautiful out, but it's hot. It's muggy. Um, DA is not very good tonight. And like I said, that was a pretty slow. It was like a 156, 60 foot. This car is capable of like easily two and a half tenths faster than that in good air. Um, I would love to get into the one threes on the 60 foot tonight. So I'm actually taking the tire pressure up a little bit more to like 24 and a half pounds because we slow mode the tire and it is still just wadding up the tire and making it super thin. So we're gonna just put a little more pressure in it and see if that's the trick. And I'm doing a little bit less of a burnout. So we're trying different things tonight, seeing what the car likes. Remember, every track is a little bit different. The prep is a little bit different when you go to the different tracks. What used to work for me at Texas Motorplex didn't necessarily work for me at Ennis and vice versa. And this track, once again, the prep is a little bit different. You just have to learn it a little bit by doing pass after pass and trying different things. So a little, little more pressure in the back and we're gonna go up to trans brake B, but I turn trans brake B down ever so slightly. So a little more power. We'll see if it'll hold, see if it likes it, see if we don't spin and we'll make adjustments. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this, uh, this thing to stick. That'd be great. Maybe run a little faster this time, put a little more power in it. Another solid hit. All right, so second successful pass out of the Demon in a row. It seems to be helping to take the tire pressure up at this track, 24 and a half pounds. So after the burnout, it's probably like 25 pounds and I'm doing shorter burnouts. That seems to be what is working here at this track. It's a little bit contradictory because that's not really what worked for me at other tracks in the past. Different race track. That's why it really pays to get a lot of passes. Um, we're going to turn the trans brake up a little bit more on the next one. Uh, that one was just a little faster. It's like a 980, 142.16. So a little faster. Like I said, guys, I'm not going to be running any crazy times tonight with me running lots of passes, DA doing what it is, and we're into about a 10, 15 mile an hour headwind. None of that is great, but it's all about practice tonight. The key thing is my 60 foot went from a 156 on the first one to a 143 on that one. So one point two tenths faster that is actually quite a bit so we're going to turn it up a little bit more on the trans brake so we're going to take trans brake b again bump it up just a little bit in each spot take the rpm up uh, maybe about 100 rpm see if it'll hold So as you can see, up to this point, everything seems to be going okay at the track. Like I said, not running great times, but at least we're getting some good practice in. The car is hooking, things are looking up. But here is where things start to kind of go awry. Well, that pass was a little bit weird because it was slower than the previous pass, even though I turned the trans brake up slightly and the car dead hooked. Talking to guys up front, they all said that the car seemed to bog down. Like when it took off, it just bogged down. It dead hooked, but it bogged. And I'm not really sure why that is. I don't know if the car's pulling timing because it's hot or whatever. I'm running the race chiller. I'm doing everything that this car is really designed to do to hot lap it. Um, but for whatever reason, that pass just, it seemed to bog. So I turned the trans brake up just a little bit more. Let's go see if the track will hold it. All right, guys, let's see what happens here. For what 
whatever reason, the car just completely bogged off the line. So I'm kind of wondering if something's goofy. It seems really weird. Let's see if the car bogs again. the second pass in a row where when I went to kind of stage up I pulled both paddles to activate the trans brake usually you just kind of let off the brake just a little bit to kind of eke up to light that second bulb and it's hard on the brake and you keep the gas mashed and then you uh, let go of the uh, you let go of the paddle the right or the left paddle and then you let go of the brake and then the car launches well I did all that stuff in succession just the right way and both times it came out and just bogged like big time bogged down so I don't know if something's not happy with the transmission, um, but it's really weird because um, I haven't done anything super crazy tonight. I haven't had like 50 runs or anything. These cars are made to go back to back to back to back and I haven't done any back to back passes. So uh, I don't know if something's gone awry with the transmission or not. Um, I, I'm not sure. All right guys, we're gonna do this one on a foot brake. Let's see what happens. Again, the car dead hooked so i'm really confident with the tire pressures in this that felt pretty good the car never went into torque reserve that was a little bit weird well i went ahead and left the track out all my stuff packed up but i wanted to pull over while everything was fresh in my mind i'm looking over my last time slip guys and something is definitely really off with my car right now uh, one uh four two sixty foot which really isn't too bad everything considered with the da and everything but the car never went into torque reserve and i had like 2000 rpm in it right before it pushed through the brakes and this car should go into torque reserve at like 1400 rpm it always has there's something not happy with the car you saw the two previous passes where all the car did was just bog down on the trans brake and it never launched it just kind of bogged down under no power and that passed 1006 at 134 mile an hour it's down at least 10 mile an hour uh, as to where it should be so there the car there's something going on with the car that's not happy and when i went to leave the track it also did not feel happy. It acted like it didn't want to go out of first gear. Um, there, I don't know if it's software related. Something in the transmission is not happy. Um, the plugs aren't right. I need to go to the dealership and get everything analyzed because the car should be faster than this. I'm really happy that the car's hooking. Um, and I feel like I've kind of got this track a little more figured out. Like I said, at XRP back in Texas and even Ennis to a degree, sometimes if I was spinning, I would kind of go down just a little bit in pressure. Here, it was the opposite. It. I was just folding the tire way too much. The car's so heavy and it would it would actually kind of hop up. And then when I went up just a little bit in tire pressure, the car started hooking really nicely. And I feel really good about that. Um, I can't help if the car is doing something weird power-wise. It felt weird. The 2-3 shift on the car felt really weird tonight. Um, and I know you can actually adjust that here, but something has to be looked at in the car. So I'm going to have to have the dealership look at the transmission. I need to have the dealership look to see what's going on with the plugs and just kind of give this thing a once over check the codes um, make sure everything is happy because 134 mile an hour out of a demon 170 something is definitely off with the car it shouldn't be bogging it should have gone into torque reserve i'm not sure what to think about it anyway guys um we're gonna find out there'll be a lot more on this i'm sure upcoming content uh so let me know what you guys think about tonight's runs in the uh comments and i'll catch you on the next one so until then racer x